Hey y'all, it is Saturday, June 17th, and in this video I wanted to discuss why trading is not like a 9 to 5 job. So, one of the things as I document through this uh, YouTube channel, my journey into trading, is that you have to shift your mindset. So let me tell you a little bit about my background. Um, I'm a licensed attorney. I recently got out of law school. I worked at a uh, law firm for a few months prior to not working for that law firm. Um, before that, I've also been a title examiner uh, in the oil and gas field, and I've also done some gig work like DoorDash, um, and I've done some internships as well. The thing about trading and why it's so different from your other jobs is that it's not a nine to five job. Um, when you're, I'm just going to relate it to my my background uh, as as an attorney, and how it differs. So, when you're an attorney, most of what you do is is a normal business day, right? So let's say that you're working as a lawyer or a, para, a paralegal or secretary. Um, you show up to work, you grind your hourly wage, or let's say that you are a contractor and you make a daily wage. Um, you might, if you're a welder, carpenter, construction, you probably make a, um, you make money on a project basis, or you make it on a per diem, meaning per day. Um, or if you are a salaried employee, you you make your money hourly, right? So when you, for example, when I was door dashing, I'd make about twenty two dollars an hour. When I was working as an attorney, I'd make about forty to fifty dollars an hour, and and. Um, I, I would make 250 to 300 dollars uh, as a title examiner on a per day basis or per diem. Trading is not like that, and it's a different mindset that you have to get into, um, and it's very difficult. And so this is going to go into a, another video subject that I want to get into at some point, which is over trading. But you have to get very comfortable with the idea that you could make all of your money in five minutes, and then be done with the entire day. This is very difficult and it's very different from it's very different from your normal job. So let's say that you uh, to relate it back to my profession, let's say that you relate it back to being uh, an attorney, you're grinding out a brief or a motion or you're doing client intake for hours at a time, right? You're grinding and grinding out your brief, you're doing your your case law research and you're just making your hourly wage, or you're making your salary, salary, salary wage. You come into work every morning. You leave at about the same time every night, um, and it's it's very routine. It's very much habit. The market is very different in the sense that you don't you don't know um, you don't know exactly how much each setup is going to pay you. You don't have an hourly wage. You don't have a daily wage. All you have are these setups and I'm gonna talk about uh, for this example because I'm gonna be using the silver bullet model um, I say that there are four times that you should be entering into a trade and that's three to four three to four a.m. Uh, 10 to 11 okay I'm just gonna block these out on the chart 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, uh, sorry, 1500 to 1600 New York local time, 3 to 4 New York local time, and 10 to 11 New York local time. And then I'm also going to include 20 to 2100, and that's the Asian stock exchanges. So these are the four times, if you're using the silver bullet model, that you should be entering into a trade. And you might only enter into one of these every day, or you might enter into two and just end up holding that trade for hours, or maybe you make all of your money in 20 minutes. You don't really know. And so it's very easy when you come from a usual, um, you come from a usual job. So I'm going to assume that if anybody is watching this video, you probably have worked a normal wage job, um, or you're a student in college. And so when you're in, when you're in college, you, again, you have a a daily schedule, right? A routine that you get you get habituated to that. Trading is 
kind of like that, but not really. Um, the market opens at its, you have your market opens, your four setup times uh, every day, but there's nothing stopping you from taking more trades than that except yourself. And it's just so easy to get into that habit of, well, I'm used to working all day, and so I don't know how to stop. And that's definitely one of the things that I've struggled with is learning when to stop trading. Um, on one of my Apex accounts, now this was simulated, I made $10,000 in two hours. Now this that was simulated. That was simulated trading, to be clear. That wasn't real money. But the idea that, you know, for example, you make all of your money in a very short window of time, you wait for your setups, you make all of your money kind of at one time, and then you fuck off. Very different from your normal salary job. And there's going to be a lot of um, painstaking waiting. And you're just waiting for that narrative to build up. You're waiting for the liquidity to build up. You're waiting for, um, you're waiting for the narrative that you want to see in price. You're waiting for that narrative to form. And then if you're trading these silver bullet setups, so for example, this is on the S&P 500. We, um, there was one really clean trade right here, and this was our AM silver bullet. So you get in somewhere here, um, your AM silver bullet, and then you immediately make your, let's see, so let's see if you came up from up here and then you sell it, like you make your eight points, so that would be on one contract, $400, uh, if you were trading one contract. And what's so different about trading from a normal job is, is you would, you know, this would be the start of your day and you would keep working, but that's not how trading is. And one of the things that you have to learn about trading, so let's say, for example, that you were trading the London Silver Bullet, okay? So we had an inefficiency here on the ES and then we get long during the setup time so we get long here and then we target liquidity uh, we could hold it to equities open or we could just hold it until this first high is made either way as you can see you're kind of just making all of your money into these short bursts where the narrative is pretty clear and where a lot of factors are aligning in your favor for a profitable trade which is one of the reasons why I like um, why I like the silver bullet model so much is that it's it's limiting how often you're trading so you know it's one of the things that if you are going to get into trading uh, and you've had a normal job before you've worked as a doctor lawyer paralegal construction title examination um, you've worked on an oil rig whatever you've done you're used to working all day and then having a little bit of time to not work a little bit of resting time in the evening and then you go back to work the next day trading is kind of like that but it's it's more variable than that and it's not um, it's not going to deliver you the same daily wage you know when you're an attorney you make the same daily wage pretty much until you make until you get a raise right unless you're working like a personal injury case and you you get a big settlement that's a little bit different but assuming that your defense counsel or uh, you're working for an insurance company or working as corporate counsel, you make a, a yearly salary and so you make a daily wage, right? So let's assume that you're not doing like PI work, personal injury. Um, if you're not doing that and you're just make, and you're making contingency, that if you're assuming that you're making a daily wage, it's just easy to get into a nice routine. And you can do that with trading, but not to the same extent. And that's a big mindset, uh, a, a big change in mindset that you need. So, um, that's why it can be so easy when you're learning ICT concepts and he has so many concepts and you can see these concepts setting up on all of the time frames all of the time and it's easy, so easy to get into the habit of over trading. You have to self limit. You have to find the power within yourself or if you're if you are a religious person like I am, you find the you find the strength through God to hold yourself back even though you want to be trading and you see the market moving and you even see potential setups, all you can do is realistically you sit there and you watch the narrative build up and you watch you watch as um, you watch price. You're watching price build up a narrative that that you want to see. You're watching to see what price is doing and these setups take time, y'all. This is one thing that I've I've struggled with so much 
Um, a very high probability trade, like 80 to 90 percent success rate on a trade. It takes a long time uh, sometimes for these for these things to happen. They don't they don't um, you know if you're trading on your one minute, two minute, three minute charts, your accuracy the more often that you trade is going to go down. So like for example, I trade when I'm really actively over trading. Historically, I've traded about 60 to 70 percent accuracy. Uh, and I still haven't made money trading because it's over trading, even with 60 to 70 percent accuracy, because it just takes one bad trade to throw off your psyche. And then you take multiple losing trades in a row and, and you get impulsive. And so it's just very difficult. Um, it's very difficult. So what I would recommend that you do, if you're anything like me, you're impulsive, you've got a little bit of a gambling side to you. I'd recommend the silver bullet model so much and then really reflect on the fact that you understand you could make all of your money for the whole week in just one session or in one half of a session or in five minutes and then you gotta fuck off and, and you can watch price and you can watch the market but you are not trading at that point you're waiting for another high probability setup to appear you're waiting for your uh, kill zones or you're waiting for your your London silver bullet your AM silver bullet your PM silver bullet to set up and you're just looking to trade at those times and other than that, you got to learn to fuck off, folks. And it's difficult. It's very difficult to, to learn. You don't have to close the charts down. You can keep watching price, but you're not trading. You're not trading outside of these setup times if you're trading the silver bullets. And so, yeah, you're going to watch the market make a lot of fluctuations, do a lot of... It's going to entice you. You're going to see as you start to learn ICT concepts, inefficiencies, liquidity... You're going to see these things set up all the time, but that doesn't mean that you're trading all of them. You have limited capital. If you're trading a funded account, your own cash account, uh, or you're even trading demo, but I, I would say like, all right, let's say you're more likely than not you're trying out one of these evaluation firms, right? If you're watching this channel, more likely than not you're trying an Apex, Top Step, or another one of the funding companies. You have limited, you know, they don't let you have an unlimited amount of risk before you blow the account. You have a very... When you're trading Apex or you're trading Top Step, these systems are automated, and if you go over your loss limit, it just closes you out automatically, and it's very unforgiving like that. So, if you know you're either going to blow through 20 of these evaluation accounts, or even more, believe me, I've done even more, or you're going to learn to get discipline. You're going to learn to get discipline and learn to wait, and I don't know, fuck off and watch YouTube videos, go play golf, and just just wait, wait to see what the market's doing, wait for that price action to set up and then and then wait for your setup time and and uh, get in there I actually have this it's 1400 to 1500 I have this one marked wrong sorry it's 1400 to 1500 is the PM silver bullet it actually performed beautifully by the way um, your silver bullet would have been right in here PM silver bullet would have been right there so imagine you're watching the market from 10 to 11. You enter a trade. You take out. You take out a short. You take out some money from the market. Whether you took took out this first profit, or you went down to the next liquidity target, which was here. At that point, you've got to wait. <laughs> you've got to wait for your PM silver bullet. And you're watching price come all the way back up. And you're like, "Fuck, I missed a trade." Guys, it's not about that. Um, you can't think like that. And I've thought like that before. You don't literally have to hit and. And this is something that, oh my God, I'm struggling with. You don't have to literally hit every fluctuation in the market. It's especially the NASDAQ folks, but crude oil, ES are all the same. They're all gyrating all the time. Okay? They're gyrating all the time. And in order for you to really be disciplined, you can't, you know, this is not like you're, you're working uh, as a paralegal or you're working as an attorney and you're grinding out your briefs and you're grinding out your motions for the day. And, it, you know, you might work on the same motion all day and so you just have a consistency of oh I'm gonna grind out this motion all day I'm gonna do my research for my case law for my next project all day and I can just grind for hours and hours and but folks that's not how this works oftentimes with trading it's it's a lot of waiting it's this the name of this game is waiting it's waiting and it's waiting and it's waiting and it's very difficult y'all it's not like your it's not like your salary job um, all of your income in trading could come from literally one trade. You could have one mega trade, let's say on a big crash in crude oil, or you know you see like silver went down three percent 
Um, let's talk about silver. Moving to the silver chart, silver had this huge move down. And what do we see here, folks? I bet you this was a silver bullet. Bet you. I bet you it was. I haven't looked at this prior. Okay, so here's our buy side inefficiency. Let's see if we look on the left if we have an inefficiency that was telling us there's a 3% down move in silver. Let's go to the hourly chart. It's kind of difficult to see. Look over here. Right there. Volume imbalance. Crazy, I know. But that was a 3% down move in silver and it came all the way back. And that could have been your whole whole week made on Thursday. All right, your whole week. And you're just sitting there. This was also referencing this balance price range over here. But it happened during the setup time. So that's why in one, one respect I like to watch multiple markets because something like silver, for example, having a 3% move down and uh, like like this, this 3% move down, and then it came right back up. Guys, that's big money, and it happens very fast. It happens all at once. And so imagine if you're just waiting for these really pristine opportunities. You could be sitting there all week and do jack shit, and it's difficult. You, I promise you it's difficult to sit there and watch price move and move and move, and you're waiting for that London to open, or you're waiting for your PM, uh, sorry, your AM silver bullet. You're waiting for a big mega trade. You're waiting for gold to have a huge move down. You're waiting for silver to have a huge move down. Even crude oil. Crude oil had a huge move down. And look, uh, let me see. Look, it actually made its bottom. It made its bottom right during the setup time, didn't it? That's 10 o'clock. That's the AM silver bullet. And that was on crude oil. Guys, this is not a, this is, this is not like being an attorney. It's not like being construction. It's not like whatever you're doing, being a student, you, this is not a regular sort of income job. It's a periodic income job. You're going to make all of your money, you know, on, on pristine setups and then you got to fuck off. So if you don't change your mindset, like I, I have to change my mindset. If you don't change your mindset to wanting to wait until you have a pristine, a pristine opportunity or you're waiting for your silver bullet setups and if you're not patient and you don't wait for your silver bullet times which again that's London open AM silver bullet which is 10 to 11 New York time and then PM silver bullet which is 1400 to 1500 New York local time I include one more which is Asian silver bullet and that's from 2000 to 2100 that's when the uh, Asian stock exchanges are opening Michael does not teach that to be very clear but imagine if you just took one trade during those times that's four trades in a day and if you're day trading, you probably thought, oh, you're taking tons of trade per day, but that's not really true, y'all. So anyways, if you don't change your mindset, you're going to overtrade. You're going to get impatient. You're going to want to be on every single market gyration. And I've come to learn now that that doesn't work. You have to wait. You've got to wait. So anyways, um, I hope that uh, this was insightful. I hope that whatever job that you've been doing before that you want to transition into trading, that you understand how different this is from a normal job and how much waiting you have to do. It's way more than you think. Uh, so that is it, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.